Hey, what's going on everyone? Syncholic here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Zans Minimap mod for Minecraft. Uh, you can go to planetminecraft.com, make sure you click the mod tab up top, and in the search bar type in the word Zan, Z-A-N. Hit search, first thing that should pop up is Zan's Minimap for whichever version you're on. Currently I'm recording this at 1.5.2. Um, and be sure that when you stop by here that you give this guy a diamond because this is an excellent mod It deserves the diamond. So there I am giving my diamond. So I appreciate it very much I love this mod and that's why I'm showing you uh, How to install it and show you a couple little tricks and tips with it um, But yeah here on planet minecraft you'll find the mod um, This is the page that you'll see um, basically everything here is basically everything I'm getting ready to tell you so there's a couple different versions, one for the Forge version, one without. Uh, I don't have Forge, so I'm just going to download the mod. And as you can see down at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to save as. I'm going to put this on my desktop. Save it. It's pretty instant. And we'll close this. And we'll close this window down. And drag it over here so you can see it. There we go. Alright, so now you need to open up your .minecraft folder. And I'm going to put a couple texture packs, uh, Misses and Old Faithful, uh, because I'm going to switch over and show you that the, uh, the mod itself is texture pack friendly. Uh, you'll need the latest version of MC Patcher, and I'll have the links below for those. But you want to open up the Mod tab and hit Add. And don't do anything here yet, but just cancel it. What that does is that creates a folder and so what you're going to do is just go ahead and close this up go back into the uh, .minecraft folder and go into not bins um, go into the mod folder open it up and you'll see 1.5.2 open that up and drag the zans zip file over there um, actually let me, let me copy this i want to leave a version of it on my desktop just in case because I always just drag it and drop it so it puts it in there and then uh, if I delete my uh, my Minecraft folder or something then of course you lose all these downloads so I'm going to make copies of them and paste them out here real quick so I'll at least have a copy in case something happens which isn't a bad idea alright so now that we've got that OCD's kicking in, i got to put it in a straight line, hang on <laughs> okay, so now we're going to close that and we're open up MC Patcher again. Alright, now with MC Patcher open, we're going to go back up to the Mods tab. Hit Add. Open it up and you'll see the Zans Minimap. Click on it, open it, hit OK, hit OK again. And there you'll see it at the top of the list. Make sure that it's checked. Once everything's checked, you want to patch it. And once you patch it, you're all done very easy peasy all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up minecraft let me drag this out a little bit so that you can see a little bit better and I'll log in and we will go into a single player create a new world here let's do uh, creative mode There we go. If you can see this, then that means you have the mod installed correctly. And like it says, if you just want to hide this message, just hit Z. Uh, the controls are pretty basic. Uh, just hit M for the map, obviously. There's all these little different features. Um, you can change the location, change the size, change it from circle to square. Um, I usually use the large version because I play on a 32 inch television, so it's, I, I prefer it to be a little bit bigger. Um, you can change it around with the radar and things like that. Uh, there's also something that I don't really show in this video, but is very helpful, is it has a uh, grid outline, like a chunk outline. So uh, for those of you that want to know like where certain chunks are, um, say for like a townie um, server or something like that, uh, or if you are like me with OCD and you got the uh, 
you, you want to know where the chunks are and divide up everything evenly it puts a nice little grid on the map so you know exactly where to you know start and stop each chunk um so let's switch over to the uh faithful texture pack real quick all right now i know it's kind of basically the same thing but uh yeah the uh the mod is texture pack friendly so whichever texture pack you have you'll you know, see those mobs and see the terrain and things like that in the minimap. Um, let's talk about uh, the waypoints. Uh, the waypoints actually have a teleporting feature in here, so you can add a new waypoint by going this direction, or you could just simply simply hit the B key, which will open up the new waypoint. And all you got to do is name it. Once you name it, uh, you can click done and I'm gonna fly away over here. open up the menu again for the map, go to waypoints, highlight whichever one you want to go to and hit teleport. Bam, there you go. Now this came in handy for those of you that seen my uh, LP series. Built a bunch of iron golem spawners and that's what helped me get up and down off those things was setting waypoints up to each one of those cells. So it comes in very, very handy. And also, it has a uh, cave mode, which is very, very handy. And here's another option, too, is a full screen map that you can open up and still walk around. So uh, that's very ha handy. I can see there's a dungeon nearby. So, you know, this, this map is a um, really, really useful tool. It helps you find things, uh, helps gives you the heads up. You know, basically, that's what it is. It's a HUD. It's a heads up display. Um, I can find things a little bit easier. I can see mobs when they're coming. Um, just all around, you know, really, really great mod to have. I'm going to pass it and back up a little bit. And it, the terrain changes, you know, for when you go up and down. So, as you can see, I thought it might be down, but it's not. So, let's go up. And bam, there's the dungeon right there. Got a nice little skeleton dungeon here. Some iron buckets. Uh, blast protection. All right, well, this sucks. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and kill myself. Now, this also displays your death point. Um, you can actually travel back to it. So there you go. If you die, you can go back and get your stuff. So if you're halfway across the world, you can't walk back there fast enough. You can always teleport. All right, so let's see here and you can also now change it uh, it used to be they didn't have this on here so this is a new option in the 1.5 update that he did but you can actually turn the um, death points off because I don't particularly use them um, I try not to die <laughs> so let's go um, take a look at uh, let's do Mrs. texture pack real quick we'll switch over to it and show you how you'll be able to see the different mobs and terrain on that texture pack as well. All right. So I know the terrain doesn't look all too different, but the mobs actually do. And I'm gonna spawn a bunch of zombies here because there are zombie villagers. And this come in handy when you're trying to find zombie villagers to heal. Um, zoom in on the map a little bit you can actually see the you know the head icon of the zombie villager and it's different than the rest of the other zombies so depending on the texture pack if you you know are able to do so you can actually tell the difference so all right guys well my name's Inkaholic I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and give it a thumbs up if you do and I will see you guys later take care